everyone welcome to another video in this video I will show you how we can restrict uh, users from navigating from one stage to another stage in power uh, in uh, business process flow right for some reason if you want to restrict users from navigating to one system to another another system by using some conditional branch how you can do that right now let us take a scenario you know that there is a lead to opportunity sales process business process flow already available in dynamics and you have you have <coughs> multiple stages right qualify develop propose and close every stage we accept uh, different types of data fields uh, for our business process right in here in qualify which is pointing to lead entity that is capturing whether it is an existing contact or existing um, account purchase time frame that we have to capture right so let us capture that let's say this lead is an existing lead and this is also an account uh, existing account right purchase time frame immediate and estimated budget let's say 5000 and individual sale it is an individual purchase whether it is identify decision maker is uh, ident uh, ha have we identified decision maker or not yes we have identified the decision maker and you can define the capture summary let's say all good okay. now I can click on next stage right whenever I will click next stage it will try to save all those records and it will ask me to go to the next stage which is pointing to opportunity stage you know that every stage might be connected with multiple related entities as because lead is in related to opportunity through uh, uh, through sourcing lead or lead source that's why it is telling me that you can create a new opportunity right now as because the opportunity creation from lead is done through qualification lead qualification first let me qualify the lead right now once the lead is qualified it will create opportunity and the business process flow stage will uh, proceed from qualify stage to develop stage right and develop stage is pointing to opportunity entity now in the develop business process flow stage I want to have some condition right like let us wait for this form to load because this is this will create a opportunity form and the business process flow will also be proceeded with the next stage to develop and this is a out of the box uh, business process flow given in dynamics 365 sales and you can see here this is the opportunity right and in the business process flow at the top you will see qualify uh, qualify stage is completed right and now we are in develop stage so develop and propose both are pointing to opportunity now if you click this you will see there are multiple options available to capture data in develop stage you can provide some data here let's say no need propose solution not available whatever it depends on you that what data you want to give and have you identified and here have you identified stakeholders you can mark it is complete completed if you have taken stakeholders and if competitors are uh, identified you can mark it as competitors then you can click on next stage so what it will do it will navigate it will complete the current stage and it will navigate to the proposed stage now here I want to do some condition right for example here also let, let's let me close it first mark all complete so you have done all you know identifying sales team identifying the you have already developed a proposal and you have completed internal review you presented a proposal through quotation and you have done it right now you can click on next now it is successfully navigating to the close part and you can also mark it all close right and click on finish now this is very simple process business process flow that you have followed but what about if you want to restrict users in the proposed stage if someone has not proposed not presented a proposal I want to restrict users by navigating to the close you cannot close a deal if you have not identified or if, if you have not given or presented a proposal to the client right how can you do that so this video will explain you 
how you can restrict users from navigating to one stage to another stage through some workflow injection in uh, business process flow right and just go and open the business process flow i have already opened the business process flow which is a lead to opportunity sales process and this is the proposed stage right here i want to inject a workflow which will check whether the proposal presentation is done or not if it's not done then you can uh, if it is not done you should not uh, let user the process should not let users to go to the opportunity close stage right so for that what i have to do i will inject a uh, workflow step so i will drag and drop it here and for this workflow i will name it as so i'll choose a trigger whether i want to uh, run this workflow on the entry of this stage or exit let me choose stage exit because someone whenever someone click the next step from this proposed step stage i want to trigger this right now you can choose some workflows that is related to opportunity otherwise you can create new i do not have any workflow for now so i want to create a new workflow let's say check if proposal presented or not right now i can define a workflow and click on ok now here it will open the workflow designer i want to make the workflow edge synchronous or real-time workflow Now here you have to choose uh, the condition and you have to cancel the workflow so that the business process will check if the workflow triggered or cancel triggered is cancelled then it will restrict there and then this is the logic that we will implement so let us wait the workflow designer is opening now this is the workflow now here i can change the scope as organization and i can unselect this start when because i want to call this on demand from the business process flow stage i can choose this as an on demand process because i want to call it as on demand the most important thing is you have to change this convert to real time so click on to convert to a real time workflow because if you do not do this then it will you cannot it will not restrict the uh, uh, the navigation of one stage to another stage so it will not restrict right now i want to add condition what is my condition i will check it here my condition is if let me go to that this one my condition is if <coughs> present proposal is not completed so i'll go here i will just add a step check condition And in the check condition, I will check whether present proposal flag is completed or not. So click on the condition link to build the condition. Click on the condition and here you have to provide the information. What is my condition? My condition is present proposal is completed so search opportunity present proposal right present proposal what is the field there the field is present proposal right now you can go here and check presented final proposal then you can equal to if it does not contain data if it does not equal to true right uh, if it is not completed then what is my need my need is i want to cancel the workflow giving a an error message right 
so I'll go here click on the step and click on add step go to add stop workflow and choose the status as cancelled choose cancel and click on set property and in the set property we have to give a message to display users that why the process cannot be moved <coughs> cannot be moved so the message here you can give you have not let's say you cannot close the deal without a proposal right now I can click on save and close and you can activate this workflow so that it will run so click on the save and activate remember the most important thing is to convert the uh, workflow to a real-time workflow Click on activate Once it is activated, I can go here and try to refresh this. I'll go to new. I'll create a new opportunity. Right. So with so this workflow, this business process flow starts with a lead. So let me create a lead first to test this, right? Or I can open any lead of my choice this is my lead and here I will go to qualify and define one of the data here and click on next stage so next stage will, uh, next stage will not navigate to the develop until unless you qualify this click on qualify and once you qualify the develop stage will be active now here also define all necessary things and click on next stage now here the main thing is happening right in the proposed stage we have enabled this workflow sorry we have not enabled the workflow click on this workflow uh, search box and choose this so once you create the workflow you have to associate the workflow in the lookup and click on apply and update this this is important you have to update the uh, business process flow once you have associated this as a stage now I'll go here and try to mark and I'll skip this present proposal and click on next stage can you see that it is asking me an error you cannot close the deal without a proposal why because this is triggering from the real-time workflow and it will remain as it is it will not navigate to the next stage right now if you mark it and you can click on next stage it will go to the next stage because the workflow will ch the check condition will not be satisfied so it will not cancel the workflow right so it's not about checking the uh, condition about one field you can take multiple fields for conditional checks right let's say you want to check if the presented proposal is not completed plus uh, annual revenue is greater than uh, five thousand dollar so in that case you can also add some condition in the workflow using some logical and or or then it will work as per expected right so this is how you can restrict users from navigating one stage to another stage by checking some conditions through on-demand workflows, real-time workflows. Thank you for watching this video and I will come with next video. Thank you. Bye.